right, well, thanks so much for taking a moment and checking out our YouTube video. Uh, my name is Eric Peterson, and um, I'm a teacher here at Williams Middle School. This is my ninth year here at this school. And basically, the purpose of uh, what we started our fundraising campaign, uh, which we we're calling the Williams Middle School Projector Project, Lights, Camera, Interaction. Um, basically, what we're trying to do is raising money to get our LCD projectors mounted into the ceiling. Um, so that way, it, it, it's going to fully integrate technology into our lesson planning as well as into our teaching and take away the safety issues that we've encountered over the past few years. Um, as well as make the technology that we do have in the classroom more secure and less of a uh, ideal option for thieves to come in and take, which we have had a, a problem problem with that in the past. So, um, as you can see, here's my what I call my little command center. I've got uh, my laptop here, and then space for my document camera, as well as my uh, LCD projector. And then behind me here, this is our this is my smart board. Um, at the school presently, we've got, I believe, 40 smart boards installed in the classroom. Um, and we've got, I want to say, 15 document cameras. Um, and with our plan is in the next couple years to get a couple to get more each year. And about 43 LCD projectors. So that's why the, um, the total amount that we're trying to raise is about $183,000. And that would pay for upgrading the projectors to newer models. Um, as well as getting them mounted in the ceiling and having on the wall a wall plate with a you know basically an interface that can change from you know uh, from a computer to the document camera to a DVD player as well as two speakers in the ceiling and so this would be put in like I said 43 uh, 43 classrooms so every morning I come in I put my laptop on my dog station and then I've got you know I've got to take a couple minutes to get everything um, which I have locked up in the back there. I'm over here and I've timed this and basically it's about all in all to get everything out and then hooked up as well as align the smart board here. I'm looking at at least a minute 45. So once I get things into place gotta go ahead and hook this up and so I do this every single day and afternoon 180 days a year so it's a little time consuming a little repetitive a little redundant so and then while that warms up I'll hook up my document camera here which I use on a daily basis now I know that once uh, the LCD projector is mounted in the ceiling, I still obviously have to hook up my document camera every day. That will be locked up for security purposes, which is fine with me. I have no, no problem with that. Where the big drawback is with having these projectors on, on a table such as this, and I must say that this is probably one of the nicer setups in our state care. So it's on. But now comes what I do every day. I've got to figure out what I call the sweet spot, and that is align this so I can maximize the 70 inch smart board that I've got. So as you can tell, it's not an exact science. Uh, let me mess with the keystone here. Once I've done that, got to level it out, move it out again. You can tell this takes a moment. So now once I've got it, as best it's going to get, because I don't want to spend to spend hours on it. I go up here, and now I've got to calibrate it. So <clears throat> this obviously the calibration makes sure that when I do touch my smart board and I ride on it for my interactive lessons, uh, you know the pen and the the writing is exactly where it needs to be. So you know this, like I said, imagine doing this 180 days a year at the beginning of every day. This is what I do. Some sort of lesson with uh, nouns and verbs, misplaced prepositional phrases, right? So they're up here and and as you can tell, you know, they're up here moving things around and they're putting it um, where, where it belongs. 
Now, as you can tell, where I touch is where it should be. Now, all of a sudden, I call a kid up, and they bump my projector. Well, guess what? You know, they bumped it. Now, I've got to move it back. And again, here's the exact, I've got to realign. So all of a sudden, you know, I'm up here again. So now I'm taking away class time from teaching. And as you can tell, you know, my back is turned. So now I've got 30 plus, you know, seventh graders, you know, disengaged in the lesson a moment ago they were engaged in. And this happens, you know, honestly, a couple times, a couple times a day, times 180, 180 days in a school year. And then you multiply that number by 43. It's a pretty big, it's a pretty big problem. So what we have is we have teachers trying to integrate technology into our teaching, into our, you know, getting these kids to be engaged and interact with the lessons. I was talking about earlier about how this is one of the nicer setups. It is. Um, I, I don't know if you can tell here, but I've got a piece of black duct tape running across my floor. So, and down here. I'll pull up my sheet. I've got a sheet here, and I've got cords basically draped all over the place. So I do this to hide all of the cords that you know it takes to hook up, you know, a projector, a document camera, a laptop with a docking station and a smart board. Um, there have been instances, and actually, just a couple of months ago, we had one student walking by in another classroom. She tripped fell over, knocked the projector down. Luckily, the, the student is fine, no injuries. Um, you know, also luckily, the projector is fine. So, I mean, you know, we do have a problem. I mean, we're trying to make, you know, the education that we provide here at Williams Middle School cutting edge with technology, interactive, engaging. But, you know, due to the current setup, we have some obvious serious limitations. So that's why we're asking for your help to make a donation to our cause it's the Williams Middle School Projector Project, Lights, Camera, Interaction, and help us, you know, make this school, you know, leading and cutting edge with 21st century technology. Thanks.